Hello everyone, Carmine from New York here. I've been a professional photographer here in New York City for the last 50 years. And these videos, my channel is all about me giving back to the community, to the photography community. After enjoying a 50 year career, it's my obligation to give back, to teach the photographers of today all my knowledge, all of the tips that I have to give in photography. The foundation of this channel is great photography, great photographs with gear that costs very little. Remember, there is no reason to spend thousands of dollars on a camera and lenses. Never. The camera is just an instrument. It's just a tool for collecting light and that's it. And record your composition, your subject, and the way that you have structured the light. All right, guys, how are you? This is episode 246. What am I holding in my hand? Today, we are discussing the Konica Minolta Z6. This is the Konica Minolta Z6 6 megapixel CCD film like sensor camera. This camera costs $400 when it came out in 2005. Today, you can get these on eBay from $18 to $25. Throughout this whole uh, episode, you'll be seeing photographs that I took with this very camera just yesterday. They're mostly uh, landscape shots, some street shots, you'll see them and you decide you be the judge if what i say is true that the camera cost does not matter what matters is the person pressing the shutter it's the photographer it's capturing their imagination of leading lines contrast lighting shadows the subject matter the cropping the, uh, are you too far away? Should you get closer? That's what a photographer does. Remember, the cost of your camera means nothing. Bragging rights? That's out the window. That you have a $5,000, $8,000, $3,000 camera. That's out the window. It means nothing. To the photography that we do, the photography of our community, it's art. It's just about photographic art. Okay, a uh, few things about this camera. All right, so this camera for $18 to $25 has IBIS, in-body image stabilization. Konica Minolta calls it anti-shape. lens, okay, is, let me just find it on my notes, okay. This lens, if it was a 35 millimeter, is equivalent to a 35 millimeter to 420 millimeter lens. The f-stops are f2.8 to 4.5. Look at this. Okay, look at, it's got a screen on the back, right? Now let's zoom. Okay, now look at the camera. The, the movement of the elements to zoom in and out to go from wide angle to telephoto is internal, okay? You see that? It's all internal. The optics move inside the, the body, inside the lens. This lens does not pump out air and dust all the time, all right? It only does that when you turn it off. 
Now this camera's from 2005. When I first got it, the first thing to do is see if there's any dust on the sensor. Even though it's sealed, the lenses can't be changed, but it does breathe, right? Every time you turn it off like this, right? That breathing sometimes brings in dust with the air, but Konica Minolta has internal seals to stop the dust and there is no dust on this sensor. Now, let's turn it on again. And there's a switch, a regular toggle switch back here to go from live view, two inch screen, you flip it and you have the electronic viewfinder. Okay, it's a beautiful electronic viewfinder, right? You flip it again, you're back on live view, whatever you like. You like taking pictures like this, like a cell phone, or do you like, like I do, holding it to your eye and using the electronic viewfinder? You get a much better stable photograph this way. It has one SD card slot right here. It's right on the bottom, right? One SD card slot. Let me turn it off so I can open up the battery compartment. And what does it take? Four AA, very common alkaline or rechargeable batteries. Okay, so if you had this camera with you anywhere in the world, you could just pop in any store, a drugstore, a supermarket, and pick up batteries for your camera and the SD card. You can get them anywhere in the world if you should happen to need more. All right. All right. The ISO range on this little camera is 50. That's gorgeous for nice, smooth, uh, noise-free photographs. It goes from 50 to 320. You have the choice of adjusting it yourself or going with auto ISO. It has a full dial on top for manual shutter priority aperture priority program and even automatic if you need it for this little guy yesterday yesterday was a very overcast day here in new york i found that program mode worked the best and gave the best results uh, now i want to give a shout out there's a link below in the description for this video okay it's an article written by matthew seville it's entitled, It's Not the Camera, It's the Photographer. The link is below in the description. I urge you to go check out. It's not long. It's like a one or two page website. I urge you to go check it okay. out. So let's talk about the flash for a second. Yes, this camera has built-in flash. Now, you know from all my videos, I like to put a diffuser in the hot shoe. And this camera even comes with a hot shoe. However, this hot shoe is back in the day, 2005, Konica Minolta thought it would be a great idea to have a proprietary type hot shoe. Okay, you'd have to either buy an adapter to use your own standard flash or buy a Konica Minolta flash. So you can't use one of my one of the hot shoe uh, built-in flash diffusers because there's nowhere to put it. So you go with plan B. Plan B is a piece of tissue paper that you put on top of the pop-up flash. And there you go. Shot here you see that I use the macro setting. It actually has a button here for macro. I'll show you that photograph now. Go to my free resource website, CarmineTaverna.com. It has 5,000 of my photographs. You can't buy anything. Do not panic. You can't buy anything, not even a t-shirt. My website has one purpose. It's for photographers to get out of PhotoBlock. PhotoBlock 
is the equivalent of writer's block when you don't know what to photograph. My website will give you the photo, of course, you can see the photo, and the equipment that I used. What camera, what lens, where it was taken, and the date. Okay? So go to my free website. There's a link in the description. I think that's just about it, guys. Call my friend New York saying, take it easy.